What's up, guys? Welcome back. Ooh, ooh, thank you so much for coming back. <laughs> Y'all could have left me, but you did it. Today, I'm going to start off with something deep. Healing is just like MMA. It's time-consuming. It's difficult. It's necessary. You got to get those reps and those jabs in. The fundamentals are necessary. When it comes to healing, the fundamentals are communication, trust, integrity. When it comes to MMA, fundamentals are you know, repetition. Same thing with healing. Repetition, communication. You have to communicate with your training partners. Trust. You got to trust yourself. You got to trust your training partners. You got to trust your coach. So there's a lot of things when it comes to healing. And based on one of the videos that I posted was about a year ago of my healing process. And so today I'm going to share some of the things that I've analyzed about myself because I, I like to compare myself to the old me because that's the closest thing that I can compare it to. This is an open this is an open conversation that many many people might go through many may not but this is my story. So many of you know my brief history grew up in a household where there was not a lot of communication towards emotions and there was a lot of healing and a lot of um, mental training to do. <laughs> And I, I'm laughing because when I share stuff like that, sometimes I get a little nervous. So I laugh because that. So shut up. Over the past few months, I've taken some really big decisions that that have helped my healing, and they're very tough. The closest thing that I can think of is I recently had a very deep conversation with this individual that it was long overdue. It was one of those conversations where. I said exactly how I felt and I was listened and it was the first time where I felt heard I felt understood I was not interrupted I was giving the word to speak my emotions and speak everything that I had to say with an open mind and I did the same thing and it was tough it was tough because there were some tears involved but it was mostly tough because I actually found the courage to say and communicate what I've been holding on for years. But you could imagine it was one of those. And this is something that I know for a fact I would have not been able to do when I was 18, 19, like below 21 years old. That was not me. And looking back of the person that I was back then, I, I was reckless, like I I was not in the mindset where I will look out for myself. Like I, I knew people would take care of me on on days that I would go out uh, when I, I didn't have to work. Like I worked, but basically everything was paid for for me. My mom held it down for me. I mean, I didn't, I didn't have to worry about much. And yeah, I acted recklessly. So my mindset wasn't as mature as it is now. I made the big decision when I was 22 to leave my household because I needed to get out of there. And now it took years. It took years for me to start healing. And it wasn't until I decided to give myself distance and space for me to heal. And even when I started the, the YouTube journey and I started saying how I was going to be expressing myself, this was part of it. And it came down to the point that I was like, okay, what am I doing? What am I going to do to really change? And that's why I made that decision. So 19 year old me, 18 year old me would have not the, would have not had this conversation because I was not in the mindset where I was open to hearing things out, especially from someone that hurt me. I was not open to express myself because I was scared. I was scared to say, hey, you hurt me. 
I was scared to tell that person like, hey, that was not right. I couldn't recognize exactly what was hurting me, but a lot of things were hurting me. And so what thing about hurt is that when one thing hurts you about a certain individual, everything after that, every action that they make, I know you trigger you and it could be little things, but little things annoy you so much that you can't even stand that person at times. So with me at the time, certain individuals irritated me and I couldn't really pinpoint what exactly was hurting me. Now I can honestly say, Hey, this is what triggers me. This is the actions that you took. This is how it impacted me. And this is what it is. And so it's interesting because even now when I had this conversation with this individual, there's a part of me that felt like a hypocrite because I thought it was like, okay, if I told myself, I'm not going to let this person in anymore because this person hurt me, maybe 19, 18, 20 year old me would have said, you're a hypocrite. You're going back to that person. You're going back to that environment. But the biggest difference is my mindset at the time. I, I was always hurt by a lot of things and I was unwilling to change. Now I'm at the point in my life because I've made so many changes. I'm willing to change. I'm willing to step out of my comfort zone and open up my heart and open up my mind. Back then I couldn't do that. And it was, it was a very scary process. I'm not going to lie. Like there were many times that I would be here and you guys know that I record my videos at home. I will be here by myself just going crazy in my mind and say, Hey, why? Like ask myself, why am I doing this to myself? Why am I suffering? Why am I doing all these things to myself? But it wasn't until I sat down for myself with myself and asked myself those questions to finally let myself be free and say, Hey, this is what's going on and let me fix it. But I wanted to do that for myself because I also did not want to feel what I used to feel when I was 18, 19, 20 years old. Because the funny thing about feelings is that they don't go away. <laughs> That's the, the funny thing. Like them. healing is long and it's at times it feels dirty and it's, it's complicated, especially when you cannot open up your heart, when you're unwilling to open up because you're scared. So I've been there just like MMA. When we're starting something new, a new technique, we have to take the time to process, right? We, we listen to the coach, give step-by-step -step process on what the technique is. And then even after learning that technique, you have to repeat it. And after repeating it, you have to apply it. That's how you know you're learning. It's the same thing with communication. When you're learning to how to communicate your emotions, you have to analyze them too. You have to analyze them, take the time to see, okay, this is what it is. After that, you got to practice, practice by communicating these emotions, exactly what you're feeling at the moment with the people that you love the most. After that, then you have to apply it. Okay. After these feelings have been out, what is the next step? The application part when it comes to healing is like, how are you going to respond now that you understand your emotions. Are you going to continue to feel the same way or are you going to do something about it? And so it's a process where I couldn't do that when I was younger. I, I couldn't because I wasn't willing to. The willingness about a lot, a lot of things is willingness. Like if we're going to go into a cage, are you willing to put in the work to fight? Are you willing to sacrifice the meals, uh, the, the family time at times, the negative comments. Are you willing to sacrifice those things for you to get to the next level and actually fight and win? Are you willing to do that? It's the same thing with healing. Was I willing to stop talking to certain people? Maybe at the time when I was 18, 19, no. Was I willing to be upfront and honest to everybody that I talked to, the people that I love the most? Was I willing to share those deep moments with and actually be myself and trust them? I wasn't at the time, I was too scared. But now I am. Now, would I have done the same things back then with this new mindset? Of course not. Now, if I would have had someone back then to tell me, hey, this is what you're doing and this is not going to work because this is what happens.
when you do this and you do that and they actually keep me keep me accountable i know i wouldn't go through the same things as i did and that i had to go through all those things to learn my lessons no i know for a fact that if i would have had the guidance back then that i have now then i know for a fact i could have avoided a lot of hurt and a lot of a lot of times that held me back so i say this that now that i have someone or i have a team that keep me accountable friends that are willing to be with me through thick and thin the times that i can't even stand myself they're there to pretty much be there for me no matter how annoying i can get they're there for me and i know for a fact if i would have had that back then i probably would have been at a better position but it's never too late i'm letting you know this because it's it's liberating for me to express myself this way and also i know because if you ever go into this type of situations and you're in the same position where you're healing i genuinely can tell you that it's worth it. Healing is worth it. Going through the hard things are worth it. Because at the end of the day, you heal yourself, you learn to forgive, and you learn to be happy. And now I'm I'm willing to put in the work to be happy. Just the same way where I'm willing to make the training for MMA. I'm willing to train hard, do what I need to do to be my best self. And I'm willing to do that. So unless you're willing and if you have the support it's like never take little things for granted because that could easily be taken away and we don't like to live life full of regret i hate feeling like i could, i will regret anything in my life so i do my best to at least do the, make decisions that are going to be best for me and not regret them so work to be happy just like i did and i'm still working at it every day that doesn't work that does not it doesn't end and you guys can see that throughout my social media so if you want to see more you can go to my patreon patreon.com slash mma hey